Hi everyone, today I'm making another of my favorite Vietnamese noodle soup. It's called bún măng vịt or duck and bamboo shoot noodle soup. It's a super tasty and flavorful dish that can be served in the morning and for lunch or dinner. This is one of the best uses of bamboo shoot, which is the younger part of a bamboo tree. If you don't like duck, you can use chicken as well, and then it will be called bún măng gà. So let's begin. Helen's recipes. Firstly, in a mortar and pestle, roughly crush one large piece of ginger with one teaspoon of salt. Then add one tablespoon of strong alcohol like vodka into the mix. We can rub this all over the duck, inside and out. This helps to remove the strong smells of the duck feather and also help to enhance the flavor of the meat as it cooks. Then rinse well under running water and then insert 3 slices of ginger and 2-3 to three shallots into its cavity. Place the whole duck into a large pot filled with enough water to cover. Add half a peeled onion and a tablespoon of salt. Then turn on the heat and bring it to the boil. When it boils, skim off the foam and lower the heat and cook the duck for about 20 to 25 minutes under low heat. Cut the onion into paper thin slices and then soak in a bowl of ice cold water to keep it crispy and also reduce the strong smell. I'm using two packages of bamboo shoot today, which weighs total about 400 grams. You want to tear the bamboo shoot into strips and boil with boiling water with some salt a few times to reduce the bitterness if any. Do not cover the lid when you cook bamboo shoot to let all the toxins release. Then remove rings under cold water and squeeze out the excess water in the bamboo shoot. Thinly slice 5 to 6 shallots. Add some oil in the pan and fry the shallot slices until golden brown. Then remove the shallot slices and set aside. We're gonna use the leftover fragrant oil to stir fry the bamboo shoot. Now add some minced garlic and fry until fragrant and then add in all the bamboo shoot. Stir for a couple of minutes and then lower the heat and start seasoning. Add 2 teaspoon of chicken stock, a teaspoon of sugar, and half a teaspoon of salt. Then mix well and stir fry for about 5 minutes so the bamboo shoot can absorb all the seasonings. To make the dipping ginger fish sauce or nước mắm gừng, you're gonna need 1 tablespoon amount of garlic, 2 teaspoon amount of ginger, a few chilies, Crush everything finely in a mortar and pestle with a teaspoon of sugar. Then dissolve 3 tablespoons of sugar with 4 tablespoons of fish sauce. Then add the garlic ginger chili mix into the fish sauce and squeeze about half a lime. Mmm, it looks so tempting. You can never go wrong with duck meat and ginger fish sauce. Remove the onion from the soup pot and transfer all the stir-fried bamboo shoot into the broth. Have a taste and add more salt or chicken stock to your taste. Add a few spring onion, the white part only into the soup to increase the aroma. Now cut the duck lengthwise in half along the spine. Detach the legs and drumsticks. Remove the bones near to the breast and cut into bite-sized pieces. Place the duck meat on top of the shredded cabbage in a plate. Roughly chop the Vietnamese mint, salted coriander, and cilantro. Then mix with the thinly sliced onion. Place the cooked thin round vermicelli noodle, also called bún in Vietnamese, into a large serving bowl and arrange a few slices of duck meat on top. Also add some shredded cabbage, a little bit of the bamboo shoot and the white part of spring onion too. Then ladle the hot soup over the noodles and sprinkle with some of the fresh herbs. Mm, and don't forget the delicious fragrance and sweet fresh a lot too. The delicious dipping ginger fish sauce can be used to dip the duck meat 
or you can also drizzle the sauce at the salad dressing over the duck meat and shredded cabbage to make a delicious gói vịt or duck salad. Mm, it smells so amazing, I can't wait to give it a try. I'm sure you're gonna fall in love with this dish if you give it a try too. And I can't wait to see a photo of your delicious bún măng vịt on social media with hashtag Helen Recipes. It's always a great pleasure to see how you use my recipes to prepare delicious meals for your family and loved ones. Thank you so much for sharing and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.